welcome again today we would be talking about a very important and an interesting concept rather which is international date line now let's begin with alice in wonderland the author of it lewis carroll who basically had an obsession about time zones in one of his articles in 1850s he discussed about the hemispherical problem his concept was if i am moving with the light let's say i start moving from india i move to china i move to uh, pacific i move to america and i keep on moving with light and i return back to india so it should be 2 pm again at india if i started let's say on 2 pm tuesday it should again be 2 pm tuesday when i reach india but he found that the time here was 2 pm wednesday now where did this time or this date rather suddenly changed off because if i am moving with the light continuously there shouldn't be a point where this date abruptly changes off now similar to this there were many works that were done there was another book that was written which was around the world in 80 days it also addressed the problem of international date line in 1888 we had the first map that basically laid down the concept of international date line or idl similarly we had 1884 the international meridian conference which established 180 degrees as the international date line but later on there were bends and changes in the international date line that came up so to understand and this 0 degree is considered as the prime meridian opposite to it you have 180 degrees on both the side but when i curve this this 180 degree would be again one and that would be the anti meridian that would be formed and it's that point there where we try to understand the international date line so international date line is basically only an international agreement there is no no law or no treaty that abides to it so on the map you can see there are many tilts in the international date line it has a tilt on bering strait again uh in the lower sections you can see kiribati so kiribati basically has 33 group of islands they were divided into two different date zones as per the idl so some were on the east of idl other were on the west of island uh, idl so both of those were following uh, different dates so different dates so if it is thursday here it would be wednesday there or vice versa so to check that out they wanted all the island groups to be under one date period so they shifted in 1995 similarly you have seen another bend at samoa and another bend that is seen at chatham islands so those are the bends that you can see under the international date line again interestingly hawaii and kiribati are on the same longitude still they follow a kind of different uh, dates that is there because one is towards the east the other is towards the west of idl now this international date line is the line where the date changes so here we have the solution to lewis carroll's problem which he had in his uh, book the hemispherical problems that he tried to address so what basically happens is in the globe we have the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere eastern hemisphere is basically the countries of uh, asia the countries of india china the southeast asia and so on in the western hemisphere we mainly have the american continents now when we draw the international date date line a very interesting paradox is towards the west of international date line listen carefully towards the west of international date line we have the eastern hemisphere that means we have the countries of india china which is lying on the west of international date line and when we cross the international date line towards this side what actually happens is we are moving a day ahead so if it was thursday here it became friday here so 2 pm thursday becomes 2 pm friday we are not changing on the time we are changing on the date so international date line again i repeat is something to do with the date and as we move towards this side we cross it eastward we have the change that takes from thursday to friday that means entering the hemispheres east is least or loser day so we already lo lost a day we are on the next day that is 
Friday, but the vice versa happens here. And this is the same concept that we discussed while we were doing time zone calculations because we are entering into western hemisphere here and towards the western hemisphere we have bonus time. So if it is Thursday here, it would be Wednesday here or I would say I have one more day for me. I have a bonus extra day for Thursday to come for me and that's how this side moving crossing the international date line westwards or crossing the international date line this side that's eastward where you have the western hemisphere that comes we have a bonus day that is there however if we cross the international date line on the other side entering into the eastern hemisphere or moving towards west we have a day that is already lost so let's say uh, in America, if it is 2 p.m. Thursday, if I move here, I keep on moving through the ideal. At the point where I'm on the ideal, you have, let's say, uh, 4 noon, uh, 4 a.m. And by the time I reach here till uh, India, you would have a date change that would occur here. The time zone changes would move as per the time zones. Okay, so there won't be any change in the time zones that would take place here. But yes, a drastic change in the day. So Thursday suddenly becomes Friday here. And that's the point or an agreement that has been artificially put up. Now why there was a need to do so? If I'm moving from let's say America, I'm moving around the world. And if I keep on moving, the days would keep on increasing. So in order to maintain a constant day for 24 hours across the globe, I need to have a point or a reference line from where I can say a day begins and the day ends. So a day begins and a day ends is what we explain under ideal. So this is the point where you have one complete day that begins and ends and then you have the next day that starts and ends so it's with the ideal I repeat again you have the day that changes and from the prime meridian or the zero degree you have the time zones that shifts that's towards the east of it you would have uh, gain and towards the west of it you would lose the time but with the international date line if I am not keeping this as a reference point if I am going round this circle round the earth what would happen is my day should keep on increasing at an ever pace that actually does not happen so we maintain a kind of constant day across the earth and that's through the ideal or the international date line which is considered as a standard reference point now so this was a kind of very important lecture we'll be bringing in more further updates stay tuned have a great day